What is up? How's everybody doing? Cockadoodle do! Wappa! What is going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. If anybody out there doesn't know who the gentleman is that runs this, or, well, he doesn't. If there's anybody out there that doesn't know who this gentleman is, basically his name is Vaping with Mr. Just Right One. He's a big fan of Stan's or Tenacious TX, and they have this little show called the Vape Stew Crew, which I do believe comes on every Friday. And I try to attend it as much as possible. It is pretty informative, it's fun, it's different, it's a little bit edgy-esque. I guess you could call it. What makes this device unique is the fact that it's actually a reviewer's product that utilizes mesh. And mesh, for whatever reason, never really took off with RDAs and RTAs. It just didn't. It was too much variables. Whether or not you had so much cotton or you had too little cotton, it didn't wick right, it didn't taste right, and that's the experiences that I had. Hopefully, this is going to change with this. The only problem I have is that I have to use the wire or the mesh that came with this that came out of China and we all know how I feel about that. I would much prefer to use my own wire, my own mesh, but the problem is I don't own any mesh so I, I have to use with what this came with. It also came with some really big cotton jammies. Do you guys remember the old school fat laces? You know what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You remember these jammies, right? I don't know how well you can see it. The big fat laces. It's kind of big in the late 90s, early 2000s, also in 1984 and 1973, respectively speaking, primarily the latter is what you use to get onto the top of your house. There's not really much to say about this gentleman. Now, I, I will tell you this, that me and Watofo don't have a shitty relationship. This is one of the few Chinese companies that will actually send me a product regardless of whether I like a device or not. And I have to give them a big shout out for that. I don't do that enough, but it's definitely something that's warranted because that just saves me that little bit of extra money to pick this device up or any of the devices that they made. I'm sure later on down the road, there'll be a product that I do a review on that Watofo does not like and I guess it is what it is that's just another pill I have to swallow sort of like plan B oh did you guys see my batteries I got two different jammies I got an e-fest and an, a mixed Joe 26650 so I'm stacking an 18350 with a 26650 on the bottom I was going for the vase shape no too soon wounds too deep let's move forward Aside from the mesh being so unique on this dripper, the center post or center section that is ceramic, it may be peak, I'm pretty sure it's ceramic, when you put the cotton in it, puts a little bit of pressure down on it to give you room to fit it through and then when you let it go it's going to spring back up and keep pressure onto the mesh and that's one of the biggest problems when you're using mesh is if you have any bit of surface area that is not touching cotton you're more likely you're going to taste burnt metal i'm not going to go too much in depth with it i'm just going to bring it down show you everything about it i'm going to utilize this as mesh since that's something it's being promoted as this may put him on the block of something big if in fact this is a very successful dripper. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be, but once I put a build in this, I'll be sure to let you know. So without further ado, let's flip it. Watofo, Mr. Just Right One, that is the gentleman that is behind the design. Now, I'm not 100% sure if he did in fact draw this on a napkin or if Watofo approached him and said, here's the deal. Can we slap your name on it? Again, not 100% sure. I don't want to discredit Mr. Just Right Run and I don't want to discredit Watofo. So I'm just going to wing it and saying that he did in fact design this because it's that unique. Profile down here, which is the name of the RDA. And then on the side, you have his and and their logo on the other side it says profile in a 1965 austin power style font color configuration is here i'm a little upset with watofa what they sent me they sent me blue or rainbow you could have picked any other color you literally picked the two colors that i despise i can't judge it based off that because i have to be happy with what i have on the top side you're going to have a color configuration again profile blue and you have a scratch and sniff right here which is going to be red flavor and scented and the reason why that is the color of a crayon is because he loves the color red and it just makes sense for this to taste just like red if you were to chew a crayon exactly what this tastes like on the back side of it all the information watofo is always good for this 
It's got a nice little display, nice blend of colors, easy to read. So on the back side, it shows all the stuff that's inside of the box. However, when I was sent this, I was also sent these two things, which I will go over. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is what they're including with all packages or what's just inside the box is all that you get. See, so it's saying designed by Watofo, Mr. Just Right One. I'm thinking that there was kind of a collaboration between the two of them. This has the boxes I hate. What they need to do is include a little cutout on the side so you could grab the box and pull it out because the pressure keeps it all together. We have the top cap, we'll go over that shortly. And of course that goes on top of the build deck right here, which is very, very much inside of this package. An extra drip tip, which we're not gonna need. On the bottom of the box is all the peripherals and accessories you're gonna get. Let's go over it one by one, holy shit. Inside the package, you're gonna get a little user manual, which is basically gonna tell you how to wick it and how to put the coil in and or the mesh, and then how to roll it. I've always covered this and people always mock me for this. Oh, you're not supposed to roll it. Well, the manual says otherwise. You get a jig, an Allen key, and then a really nice long screwdriver and then all the other bags that you get now usually watofo makes a black bag with red writing on it what kind of confuses me is they're only including one coil i guess isn't necessarily a bad thing but it is nichrome 80 and this is the build that you get so if you don't do it correctly the first time well then that's all you got and usually watofo's coils are pretty well made and then the two pieces of mesh that you get. Inside the peripheral pouch, you're gonna get some extra O-rings, some extra post screws, a studded 510 pin, because the one that comes stock on it is a squonk pin. I don't necessarily agree with that. I would have much liked to, I don't necessarily agree with that. I would have much liked to seen just a regular studded 510 pin in there. And then if someone wants to use this as a squonk, they're able to change it, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Two extra springs, which are gonna be for the midsection or the C-section of this RDA. Then you get this absolutely tremendous adidas sneaker shoelace with the aglet still attached that thing is fluffy as shit the only problem i have with cotton like this is as cool as that is i'm gonna show you how they use this and then i'm gonna put my own cotton in it just because i don't really prefer this style of cotton i'm gonna apologize in advance because this is very very hard to see because it's blue extremely thick metal almost reminds me a little bit of the warrior rda which came out simultaneously Always when you get a brand new device, just make sure you clean it up. Drip tip on the top, I'm assuming matches the top cap right here. And to adjust the airflow, you're just going to spin it. The way that your airflow is configured is it's stepped. You could either do half the holes right here, or you can cut off each section of the holes. And it's just a mirrored parallel airflow configuration. So what that means is as you turn this, you can either turn off or turn on. So what that means is when this is attached, there is no single coil configuration because, well, the coil is directly in the center and it's a very loose, indirect airflow. You could tell it's not channeled in any type of way. So as the airflow goes in, unless your coil is that large, that it's that close, I'm not 100% sure that we're gonna really get that good a flavor off of this. So because you have your coil directly in the center and you have these air flows that are just loosely placed, airflow may come in, barely hit that and go up. If you're using mesh, it's gonna round about and kind of hit the sides of it. If you're using a coil, I feel is gonna drown out the flavor immensely because the size of the chamber for a single coil RDA. Your center section is very loose and floppy. So you don't have to worry about that springing back up and flipping you in the esophagus that should stay right where that's at it is a little too loose for my liking i would have preferred a little bit more springier action however you're only going to use this for the cotton itself that's going to go between the mesh it's not going to be used for regular builds and as you can see your juice is going to go up directly through the center and right onto the cotton that is literally right there this is why I hate dark colors. I don't know why a company would send a reviewer a dark color to do a review on it. It's just that difficult to see. Black you could get away with because typically on the inside of a black top cap is going to be stainless steel. This, however, is very, very difficult to see. It's like it needs to be in a certain angle for you to see what I'm talking about. But there is in fact a cutout there or a nipple to catch into the groove here so your airflow lines up directly to hit the coil on the sides. If you don't like the flat head configuration, 
you're able to use the Phillips. And you can tell that is not spring loaded. So as you do this, you have to adjust these manually as you're putting it in. And you can see that there is a ledge down there. So what happens here, mesh only goes about a quarter of the way down and then this clamp pushes against it to keep it flat. But the mesh is pre-cut and you shouldn't need to make any kind of adjustments to it. If you were so inclined, you could put a leg here and a leg here and then pinch it down. Positive block right here and your negative block is essentially a attached to the deck down there on the bottom. So if you really wanted to, you could do one leg here, one leg here, one leg here, one leg here. The only problem is the airflow will be coming in from the side, hitting the coils to where the cotton is coming out. It would be a little bit difficult to wick. I don't see that being that big of a problem and I may have to resort in that if I'm not getting enough of flavor with the mesh. I'm not a fan of how loose those are. In the deck itself, it's just Watofo and then Mr. Just Right One on the inside with a hashtag. On the bottom of deck it's going to say profile watofo mr just right one and then this is the connection right here to disassemble the positive connection that i thought was so directly placed inside of here this is the little piece of mesh that they give you and as you can tell by looking at it it does have little flat ends on the side of it however when i got this i also got a little package like this that has more of them on the inside now i'm not 100 percent sure if this does come with it but inside this package is a bunch of the same exact things Most people would not heat this up, but I am going to. 0.24 is what that picks up at. We're just gonna do a quick little pulse to make sure that that does in fact ignite. So basically what you're gonna take your Adidas piece right here. Basically I took a whole tampon aglet on the end of it. Jesus Christmas. <laughs> Holy shit, what is this? <laughs> Holy cow. I rock tough and stuff with my fro puff. Hey, ho, I rock on with your bad self. You know what this reminds me of right here? Like an old 1990s troll head. In order for you to cut this, you're gonna need to get a good pair of wire cutters. I don't like this at all. Like. <laughs> Looks like fucking sushi in my dripper. All I need is one of those big ass orange scissors. I feel so overwhelmed with cotton. I feel like I have the worst case of psoriasis ever. There we go. So now that I've made one of the worst messes ever, let me show you how this squonks. It's going to be difficult to see because it's not saturated. Maybe I should saturate it because the amount of cotton that I'm going to have to use and juice. Oh my holy cow. And of course, with all that cotton, what do I do? Miss the dripper. How? Trick is with mesh, you don't want any of this area not touching any cotton. You want this to be 100% in contact with this. That's why you roll it like that. And let's see the squonk. Oh, okay. Um, that's okay. We're going to put the cap on. I'm having a bit of a, a, a problem here. What is going on? So instead of it going up directly through the center, what I find is, for whatever reason, it's coming up from the sides. Okay, as good as that's gonna be broken in, that's about the best that I got. And guess what? Can't really see the airflow. So that is the Profile RDA. Let's bring it on the top. <laughs> having consistently dog hair flying into my mouth. All right, here we are back on top with the Profile Mesh RDA. 
made by Watofo and vaping with Mr. Just Right One, sitting on top of the Lizard Komodo looking super cute. However, that is blue as shit. Now, I know you're already asking yourself the question is what in the fuck does Jay have on? This is not a shawl and I'm not trying to keep my pimp game strong. That's not what's going on. What I have is a bunch of leftover cotton from when I was putting it through and I figured it would be in my best interest to put it on my shoulders just to make me feel older and stop being colder. That's just the way that that went down. I'm not doing this to look like a clown. Uh-oh, let me show you some vape production. Um, I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> This was a bad choice. I'm gonna tell you right now, listen, if you get chilly, right? You go to local CVS and you tape all that cotton together, whoo, it almost looks like some type of white leather. Like a what kind of animal is white. All right, so this is the situation. I didn't think that the mesh was gonna be any good. Right off the jump, I had this impression and this inconceived notion that the airflow was gonna go right past where the mesh was and then straight up into my mouth. That's not what I'm having, and I feel that's because of the thickness of the top cap, the airflow is going in. You know what I'm talking about. I got those wings, yo. What? The one thing I noticed with mesh though, whether you're using that at an RDA or an RTA, is it dries out your mouth very quick. I really don't know, I don't, but I had the same problem on the Cedo Mesh RDA to where it was like, I needed a drink after every vape. So what I did was I got a camel back and I stuck that in my nose. So every time I vaped, I just, and then the water went down my esophagus and kind of pre-meditatively pre, pre, pre went on the back of my tongue to keep me full of saliva inside of the mouth. That's why I was drooling on that review because it was so saturated on the inside. What I got going on right now is I feel like someone has a pair of tweezers and they're plucking whatever hair I have on the top of my head out because there's a piece of tape that's holding this neck brace together on the back of my head and as it's it's almost like a band-aid that's halfway off. Just hurry the fuck up and just get it off. I almost feel like I'm not putting enough of power through this, and that's 44.5, give you a really good reference, that's 3.16. Let me saturate this up and give it a little bit more power. 4.1 volts, there we go. Pretty good flavor. Yeah, it's pretty good, like, really good. The thing that I have with mesh though is mesh in an RDA is never the same as mesh in a sub ohm tank. I feel the mesh in a sub ohm tank is that much better than it is in an RDA. Granted, that could be the type of mesh that they're using. It could be the style of the way that the wick is. It could be what the wick is, the materials, whether it's cotton flax, paper, or uh, tissue. You know, it could be even some paper towels, brawny, angel soft. You know what I'm talking about. This right here, I feel like is a super large piece of toilet paper wrapped around my neck and shoulders. You have no idea how hot this part of my body is. My neck is cold, my arms are cold, but my shoulders are hot. Like, whoo! <laughs> every time I... Every, every time I... <clears throat> every time I talk, the, the little cotton particles are flying up and get getting into my mouth. Now I got this extra shit. All in all, really, really straight up, all jokes aside, even though I got all this extra cotton, the cotton that I'm using inside of this is the same exact cotton that I put inside of this, right here. It, I don't know how you guys are always busting my balls. Oh, Jay, how do you vape on that cotton? How do you, how do you use that? I, dude, I, Straight up, this cotton looks like it belongs on a t-shirt somewhere. I would much rather prefer something that looks like it was pulled out of a mattress than something that belongs on the end of a little rolled up piece of paper to clean out your fucking ears. Like that just makes sense to me. But all in all, this dripper is definitely not bad. It does resemble the Warrior as far as the outside is concerned and that's because, well, it's made by Watofo, the same people that made the Warrior. Now this right here is going out to Watofo. I'm not quite sure as to why you sent me such an awkward color. I get it that, you know, listen, oh, we got all these extras, let's send these out. These are not gonna be popular. If you're gonna send me any devices in the future, I promise you, and I'm gonna ask you individually right now, 
please send me something other than blue. Stainless steel is the, I have to take this shit off. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Got this heat exhaustion. It's very difficult to see the airflow on any of these dark colors, whether it's the blue. The gold is not that bad, but the black will be difficult to see. And if the airflow was a different color and stainless steel would be that much easier. However, it wouldn't blend as good as it does. So you kind of take one for the other. If so, facto. And if you like mesh RDAs or you like vaping on mesh right now in a sub ohm tank, this may be something that you're interested in. If I was to rate this device on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it a six to a 6.5. It's doing much better than what I thought it was gonna do. However, with all this extra cotton, I have no idea what to do with it. I feel that if a thousand people came off the street with this same exact RDA and asked me to wick it, I would just pull it off my shoulders and wick it individually. People may complain though, because it may taste like soap or cotton from a t-shirt or laundry detergent because it's sitting on my shit. And I can promise you the back of my neck and the top part up here, super saturated just like this is. I've seen the introduction video in regards to this actually juicing up through the center. I'm not having that. I'm having juice come from the side where the wells are versus directly in the center. Good flavor, good vapor production, a little bit different. Well, a lot of bit different. The whole center section. Regular coils I do not feel are gonna be any good in this and I don't really need to test them because what this is designed to do is use mesh and it does that perfectly fine. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay, he's out. Don't I look like Moses?